I don't know how I was able to tell Ethan his mum had gone, but I knew I had to. There was no, there was no choice. I, I could have palmed it off to someone else, but I'm his dad, and that's my responsibility to tell him the worst news hopefully he'll ever hear in his entire life. But you know, I remember travelling back because he'd <clears throat> come back from the hospital. He went in to see her twice on the final day. Never told him that she might not live. I told him she was very seriously ill. And so he'd come back a little bit earlier with friends and family. So he wasn't at the hospital when she died. And the whole way back, you're wrestling with this. How do you tell him? What words do you use? And all the way back, I can remember this story of only a couple of years before we went on a holiday and he had this little monkey that was his bedtime companion called Uu. And it, it just got scooped up in the laundry and they changed the beds one day and was never seen again. I think it was last heard of heading to an industrial laundrette in Athens. And I remember how heartbroken he was at losing a cuddly toy. So all the way back from Oxford to Reading, she died in Oxford. You're thinking if that broke his heart, what the heck is it gonna do to him when I tell him his mum's gone? And I just remember getting back into the house, feeling sick as I was walking back in. And he's playing with his cousin Thomas at the time. I thought, don't delay, you've got to do it. So I took him upstairs on his own and, and sat down there and, and told him the news. And it's the, the along with Gemma dying, the worst moment of, of my life, you know, because I literally watched his world collapse. Physically, you know, the outpouring of his, his wailing and his tears and his screaming and everything. But at that point, I describe it in the book like a, into his world, it was like a tsunami coming through the house and his world and everything that he felt sure about and had known largely went. There were some of the things he recognised in life, thankfully still had me, still had his family and his friends, but so much else had gone and all the things he had security and suddenly felt like they were being eroded and taken away. And it's, it's, it's a moment I said very early on, I'd never wish on my worst enemy. Mm -hmm.